and not many of those guys are, I mean, very few of them are playing anymore. And you guys, you guys are still going. Well, do you know, um, I, I know Colin, before we got back together again, Colin has decided to go back on the road. Um, but the way we got back together, it was not planned. I mean, I, I've been, for 10 years before that, I'd done nothing else but exclusively to produce other artists, Tanita Tikran, Nancy Griffith, um, Joshua Caddison, quite a lot of people. And um, I did a, a charity show for John Dankworth and, and Cleo Lane. And Colin was in the audience and he got up and sang She's Not There in Time of the Season. And afterwards he said, why don't we just do half a dozen gigs for fun? And I said, yeah, that would be a buzz, you know. And we did them. And somehow that's turned into seven years of uh, constant touring. And we tour America all the time now. And we've been to Japan. We've been back to the Philippines. We've played the Arena Coliseum again. Um, and we've been all over Europe. Uh, yeah. It's been wonderful because neither, neither of us thought that we'd be playing live. So it wasn't planned. It but was we had a big gap in, 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 in the middle, yeah. you know, when we weren't playing live. I mean, I came off the road with Argent in 75, and I thought that was the end of my... I, I'd had enough, actually, at that time, of live playing. But then I got to the point where I really missed it. And then getting back on stage, it was such a buzz to go out and play. You know, and there's much, as you see tonight, there's as much energy on stage as, as, as there ever was. And, and so it's a privilege to be at this stage in our lives and to be able to go out and... And, and also, like the audience tonight, you'll see a real mix of ages in our audience. You'll see a lot of young people as well as older people. You know, we don't, I don't care who comes, but, you know, it is a real mix. And, it'll, and, and that's really, it's a privilege to get that. And that's, pro that's probably due to the fact that, you know, music is in the films, yeah. in advertising. Sure. And you, were you aware that the American Idol thing were these? Yes, the yes, uh, they, they did, she's not that time season. Yeah, yeah, the British Invasion. And yeah, absolutely. Guys, get to see that, were you? I saw it. Yeah, uh, so no, I saw it. Well. Someone yeah. told me about it and I recorded it, you know. Yeah. yeah. So you look out on stage every night, you see people from of all ages. And all, yeah, we do, yeah. And also, um, I think that's helped by the fact that I was just saying to Brian earlier that, that, um, that Paul Weller was the first guy who was contemporary at the time. I mean, um, oh, he's contemporary now, but when he was in the jam, suddenly breaking open the UK, you know. Um, uh, he said his favourite album was Odyssey and Oracle. And, um, and then since then, there have just been a succession of artists. I mean, recently, the Arctic Monkeys, for instance, um, the, food, the guy, Dave Grohl from the Foo Fighters, um, uh, we just did an interview with, like this um, with somebody in Norway. And he said, oh, we, we just interviewed Dave Grohl. Uh, and one of their questions to him was, which record changed your life? He said, Care of Cell 44. He said, I listen to Odyssey and Oracle every day for six months. You know, and this is, I mean, it's, it's fantastic for us. It's yeah. bizarre, really. I mean, it's quite strange for us in a way, really, because uh, it was actually recorded in 1967. And I, we didn't forget it, but I, I, I'm the same as Ron. It wasn't I, a hit. Uh, it okay. wasn't a hit, and we, we, I, to my knowledge, no one in the band ever played it. You know, so it's come back as quite a surprise to us, although the surprise happened probably about 10 years ago because interest started happening then. It's not. It's not completely recent, it's been a gradual thing. Um, but it has been a little bit of a surprise. There's been no big promotional push, no marketing, it's just happened on its own. And suddenly, uh, people are thinking of it as a, you know, quite an important album. The thing is that we are, at the moment, um, rehearsing for a, a big celebration concert, which I mentioned tonight, which Colin mentioned tonight as well, which is um, uh, uh, to celebrate 40 years since we did Odyssey and Oracle. We're putting a concert together at Shepherd's Bush where we're going to do zombies and beyond, if you like, with the zombies stuff, Argent stuff, Colin Solo stuff with the string quintet um, from one year. But we are, as part of that concert, getting the original surviving members of, of the Zombies back together. It'll be the first time we've played them for 40 years. Uh, and uh, we'll be doing the whole of Odyssey and Oracle in its entirety, from start to finish. Some of those songs we'll have never ever played on stage in any form. So it's gonna be an interesting evening, but um, that's our current focus. So we've gotta get that out of the way, because that's quite, 
logistically, that's quite difficult because, in fact, we've got 18 musicians involved in that evening. So it's going to be quite hard to put it together. For instance, we're trying to replicate it exactly on the Oracle. So there's one track on there, Butcher's Tale, where we, Chris White, bass player, had an American organ from in the 1890s, and, uh, and we did one of the tracks on that. Now, that's long since gone. I'm in the process at the moment of buying another American organ, Victorian one, pedal organ, so that we can try and replicate that exactly. We're going to have a brass quartet on This Will Be Our Year, just like it was on the original album. So we, and, and we, I've got um, Brian Wilson's keyboard player, um, Darius Hanaja, to play second keyboard, so, because I, I track some of them, you know, I've got, at some, at some point, it's obviously not, there's more than one keyboard player at, at one time. And there are extra harmonies because of the tracking, so we've got extra people to do that. So we, we are trying to reproduce it. So that's the next thing. But once that's over with, um, we'll be doing uh, a new album of new material, and um, we're going to try not ex not to try and go back and replicate the way we used to record, but we're going to try and do things in a very organic way, w with very few overdubs. So we're going to try and, and and play with the band live for the backing tracks, and and you know and then put the lead vocal and harmonies on in the way that we used to do it. So we can try and get some immediacy um, in in that live set, because only because. That's the way we feel we enjoy it the most and try and capture some of the energy we get on stage. So that, that's the next project, isn't it, really? Yes, but also live-wise. Yeah. Um, after the Shepherd's Bush Empire, yeah. we're going to be doing a month with the Yardbirds uh, uh, from May the 14th to, and a half, really, yeah. Yeah, to roughly the end of June. Then and then after that, we go to America. To America. To yeah. America. So it's, it's going to be, you know, a really busy... Yeah, and, and if you, from just going back to saying that neither of us ever thought we would ever play live again, it's it's such a turnaround for us, and it's a it's a, a wonderful adventure and a, and a great thrill to be doing what we're doing. I really really enjoy playing with the band that we're with at the moment as well. They're great. Uh, they're, they're very musical. They've got loads of energy, and and uh, I think I enjoy playing with this this current lineup as much as any of the bands that I've I've played with actually. Okay. Fresh. Thank you very much. Oh, thank you very much. Great. Thank uh, you. Can I pay, shall I pay you now? <laughs> <laughs> yes.